Dude, oh my god, how long was the volume off? <laughs> I'm so bad at it. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, thanks. Who, who told me that? Sports Show, you're the man. Appreciate that. Oh no, and Neil, too. <laughs> Dude, I'm so dumb. And light. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was saying I'm like coughing and stuff because I ate a tortilla chip and a little part of that tortilla chip is now permanently embedded in my throat, probably for the rest of my life. Um, so if I cough, that's why. And if I die, just call the call the police and tell them it was a tortilla chip because that's how it feels right now, at least. So hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. All right. Actually, I think I just got rid of it. So yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, dudes? So yeah. Um, yeah, I've got I've actually got something ready for you guys today. Is this going to be a trash stream? No, this is going to be the freshie of the freshest fresh stream. No more trash streams, even though I'm moving, no excuses. Um, yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, I may die. Wouldn't that be crazy if I died during a live stream? That'd be nuts. I, I think that's, that's probably happened, right? Ah. <clears throat> yeah, man. <clears throat> <laughs> That's probably so annoying for you guys. Sorry for clearing my throat. Oh, Shad, you emailed me a question. I did not get it. I, I've been tutoring a lot these days. I have like five tutoring sessions today, plus this live stream. So I haven't been as like checky check with my email recently. But Shad, I'll, I'll get you. I, I got you. Don't even don't even trip. All right. So just one more sub, and Neil will beat T series. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Sporso, I am going to try to wait till I at least get 800 subs before I die. I will stay alive till then, I promise. Um, okay, so I do want to do poetry. <clears throat> However, I kind of want to wait till we're a little bit more into the chat to, to get this going just because it's so boring. So I did want to start with a geometry question because y'all y'all know how I like to do geometry. So my question to you guys is... Line A, B. Bang. First question of the stream. Can you believe it? Let's go. <laughs> Whiz. Yeah, you'd be like, wait. <laughs> I will. I promise I'll die after I write the answer to the question. Neil beat T-Series? Good job, dude. <laughs> six? Okay, six. That's Laurel and Wiz. And Sporso. Sporso, my bad. Light. Dude, Light, what's up, man? Long time no see. Venna? Andrew? Dude, you guys are coming in with this one. Neil? Oh. Neil have an answer? No, no. Yep, he did. Nice. Wise Matt, I got you. It's been a while. Huh. Leong, got you. The president up in here, what's up? Nice. Six gang, 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 gang. <clears throat> so, guys, great job on the question. I wrote down the... <laughs> okay, gr everybody's correct. Everybody's correct on... <laughs> Everybody is correct on this one. Good job. I messed up, but you guys didn't, so stay sharp. So, good job. Everybody pat yourself on the back for not being not being like mayonnaise IQ. You guys are better than that. Well done. That is 6. Um, but I have a new question. Uh, actually the the question I wanted to give, but I was just trying not to die from this to from this chip. Line AD equals. That's what I want to know. I want to know how long AD is. That's what I want to know. Okay. Yeah, but good. Everybody that puts six, you're genius. Don't let anybody tell you you're dumb because you're not. <laughs> Dude, if somebody got that wrong, I'd be so. <laughs> that'd be so funny if someone's like, uh, AB, um, uh, 10? <laughs> I'd be like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think the audio is just you, Neil. I, I pumped that bad boy, so you just let me know. Also, leave a like if you um, if you like have really easy questions like that. Okay, here we go. 
we got some answers in the mix now. Some real answers here. Um, Wiz, Sports Show. Okay, then we got a little flip here from Andrew. Oh, too bad, man. Uh, Elise, I got you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Andrew. I only take the first answer choice. Sorry, bro. <laughs> You're going to have to live with that on your island over here. Nine AD. Yeah, I, I got you, bro. I know. <laughs> I just like to give you a hard time. Bruh. Red wall. Red wall. Laurel. Shod. Nice, nice, nice. Well, be careful when you say it's this is easy. That's that can be a bad sign too. All right, so light as well. So this one is a trick, and you guys all fell for this trick. So just be aware of that. Um, when I say line AD, line AD is not actually pictured. Because this is a line, that's a line, this is a line. If I wanted to say the entire length, I'd have to say AB plus BC plus CD. So does you guys want to change your answer if I were to draw this? If I were to draw in line AD, does that change all answer? I don't know what answer you put in the, oh, 34. Yeah, so you guys got BTFO'd. So let me redraw this uh, diagram so it's not as like janky anymore um i think it was like this something like that and then this was six this was 24 this is four that's a b c d and i want to know what a d equals all right cool not as janky there we go let's go Okay, now we're getting some legit answers here. Study till I pass out's got 34 still. Okay. Jane's got 36, which is interesting. 36. Jane, what's up, Jane? Coming to crush the chat. Uh, we got Zizi, uh, Zrizzy. Zrizzy? That's a chill name, dude, actually. Ah, Henry's got... Radical 576, I'm not sure what that would be. Is that? Yeah. Neil's got 10. Laurel's got 12. Sport Show's got 24, 34. Neil's got 10, I got you, bro. Laurel, you change your answer to 14, Laurel? What's up with that? Radical 676. Okay, I don't, what does that simplify to? Laurel's 10, Neil's got 10. All right, I'll give you guys like, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds and then we'll go over this. President's got 26. Okay, nice. Nice. 15 quad. Uh, what? 15 quad? I got, I got you, President. <laughs> 15 for ADs, Rizzy? I got you, bro. Oh, you already have an answer. You can't put two answers. All right. All right, so let me go over this one, just because this one is so tricky. Um, but it's a really good one, because it just shows you sometimes it's better to kind of make the information your own. Okay, so I'm going to redraw this diagram. Because notice, I have to go six this way, 24 this way, and then four that way. What if I just walked all the way this way I needed to walk first, and then I walk all the way I need to walk this way first? What you'd end up with is something like this. This would be six, this would be four, so that's all 10. This would be 24. You guys see where this is going? That's AD, right triangle bros, right triangles. So what we're gonna do is the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So what we're gonna get is 10 squared 
plus 24 squared equals c squared. This is 100. Gosh, I don't know that off the top of my head. 16, 8, 9, 0, 8, 4, 6, 17, 576 plus 576 equals c squared. So 676 equals c squared. 676 equals c squared. Take the square root of both those sides. And is that 26? It might be. Um, 12, 15, 0, 12, 4, 5. Yeah. Cool. So that's 26 squared. So C equals 26. Ooh. All hail the chief. Well done. Nice. Yeah. So that's how this one, that's how this one goes down. Yeah. Really, really nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. So keep in mind, actually, this is a very common right triangle. This is a 5, 12, 13 right triangle times 2. Because this is 5 times 2, this is 12 times 2, and that's 13 times 2. So yeah, that's how this one goes down. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the video or audio is aligned just because the streaming, like my computer is basically a, um, is basically a rock with a circuit board in it. All right, cool. So what did I say at the beginning of the stream? Poetry is boring. Get ready. We're not going to hit it yet, but we will eventually hit it. So just be aware that we will hit poetry today. Okay, let's see if I can give you guys a redemption for the uh, right triangle problem or, or something like that. Let me see if I can think of one really quick. So just kind of kick it for a second. Um, let me see. Um, uh, oh, okay, cool. All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. So here's your question, guys. I'll read it for you. Uh, a dude, a dude, look at the dude. A dude walks 45 minutes going northwest. He then walks 36 miles south, making his home camp directly east of him. How many miles east must he walk to get back to camp? All right, let's go. I'll give you guys like a minute. Oh, really? Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Laurel, if you're confused, bro, just make a diagram for yourself. Because whenever they give like a word problem, but you, you think it's a geometry problem, to just hook yourself up with a diagram. That generally makes things a lot easier.
Yeah, more or less red wine. Also, don't forgive don't forget to drop a like if you're totally confused. <laughs> also, and if you're not totally confused, make sure you subscribe. Trying to get to 1k, trying to beat T series, be the first one to get to 111 million. And they have a huge head start on me, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try to beat them to 111 million. Not northwest. It is northwest of the location. Dude, you guys know you can always figure out where east and west is just by where the sun is in the sky because it rises in the east and it sets in the west. So if y'all are lost or whatever, who has 11 million? I don't know. T series? <laughs> All right, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds and then we're going to do it. Oh, dude. Rest in peace to Wiz's pen, dude. That's that's tragic, man. Sorry to hear that. It's always a sad day. <laughs> okay. Lena? All right. You got an internal compass? That's nice. Explanation. Laurel, Tammy. All right, so people are kind of piling on on this to this answer here oh you get it laurel dude did, did you make a diagram that's what's up if you can't see the sun will you oh that's uh maybe you could feel the heat from the sun i, I don't know man that's a good question henry i think if you're blind y your navigational skills are already just kind of busted so i don't know i knew a uh, blind person who's really good at cooking like super good at cooking believe it or not actually yeah uh, okay cool let's hit it up So, like I say, dudes, when you're given a word problem like this, diagram, diagram. So, here's our dude. And, guys, remember, north, south, east, west. So, first off, he's going to be walking in northeast direction, or northwest direction. And dude's going to go 45 miles this direction. Okay? Then he walks 36 miles south, so straight south. Making him directly east of the camp. Okay, great. So, he's even with the camp. And that's 36. So we got to figure out how much this dotted line is. Well, if he's walking south and then he's walking east, that's a 90 degree angle, bros. Yeah. So, so we have to figure out what this last thing is. Pythagorean theorem time. Let's go. Let's go. Now, if you guys are slick, you guys can recognize the three, four, five triangle. So if that's you, pat yourself on the back. But if not, let's do it out. This is going to be heinous. Uh, six, 30, 18, 21, 21, zero. Uh, and then they're just the same thing, right? No. 18, 9, 10, 6, 9, 2, 1. It's heinous. 22. 10, 5, 2, 3, 1. Wait, what? Where did I mess up? 25, 20, it's 22, 20, 0, 22, 16, 18, duh. I'm, I'm going to do this one again just because whenever I make a mistake in multiplication, I don't trust my ability just to fix it. I got to like do it up. 29, 0, 20. I made a mistake again. Hold on, dudes. Let me get some coffee really quick and then let me try this again. Okay. This one will not suck. 5, 20, 22. Okay. Good job. That's 20, that's 16, 18. Okay, this is not looking like trash anymore. All right, good job, that's what I got. Okay, cool. So now we do the subtraction of one, two, nine, six from each side, one, two, nine, six. 
Um, I'm gonna have to do this out because I don't want it to be trash either. Dude, I'm still like so triggered from that last, I think it was last week when I like made a humongous mistake in my um, problems. One, two, nine, six, and like I was so dumb, I couldn't even figure it out and like the chat had to tell me. Um, one, okay, this stinks. Um, nine, nine, 11, two, seven, 729. So X squared equals 729. I have a feeling that's 27 squared, so I'm just gonna give that a shot because I feel like you guys are right. And plus, when you look at this last number, which number squared ha ends with a nine? Only seven does. Seven times seven is 49. So 40, that's 14, 18, that's zero, that's 14, that's four, five, nine, 12, seven, yeah. So the answer here is 27. Good, good to all these homies, man. That's an elite squad right there. That's what's up. That is what's up. Good job, dude. Good job. Really nice. Oh, Zerzi, you got it too. Zerzi. I'm the Zerzi. All right, dude, sick. Well done. Well done. All right, let's flip over to poetry because I know y'all are waiting for it. <laughs> Bang. There's the poem. Maybe some of you guys have done this before, but this is a really good one. And I want you guys to, to give it a shot. Okay. So there's the poem. I want you to read it. Okay. And just put type done. Um, type done in the chat when you're done. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and give this a little read here. Make sure to, make sure to follow the punctuation, bros. Don't stop just because the line breaks. Follow the punctuation. Let's go. Also, shout out to Skills for his speed run. That was legit, dude. Really nice vid. See you, Neil. Take it easy, bro. Yeah, and every old rogue. That's what it says. Every old rogue. Okay, sports show's done. Sometimes if you pause the video, that it like helps the blurriness. Just for, if you pause it for a second or whatever. Shad's done. Okay. Oh, it's blurry for you too, sports show? Damn. Damn. Well, you could always look this up. If you're on a laptop, um, you could always just look up this poem because it's public domain. Just type in this hotel and then just type the head waiter says and then put poem. Um, I can zoom in and I'll, I'll actually read this straight up for you, bros. So just so you can get a better idea of how to read poetry. Okay. Hold up. Let me get my, let me get my thing together. Okay, so check it out. I'm gonna read through this poem, how I want you guys to read through poems when you read poems. I know that sounds dumb to say, but I notice when I pause and when I don't pause. I only pause when I see punctuation. No other reason causes me to pause. So I may burp, but I, I'm telling you I may burp, <laughs> but I'm gonna read through this right now, okay. Ahem. <laughs> ahem, ahem. We still got the tortilla chip, bros. I might die. Okay. I got to work through it. I got I to push through it. Okay, here we go. The head waiter says, nice day today. He, spot, he smiles sentimentally. The head waiter says, it will rain today. He frowns gracefully. Those are the greetings. Every morning to every old lady and every old gent and every old rogue and every young couple. To every guest. 
Bang. That's the first one. First stanza. Killing it. And I, who do not sleep, who wait and watch for the dawn, one day I would come down to the world. I would have a trumpet as powerful as the wind, and I would trumpet out the world, the spended... Oh, is that a, is that a punctuation there? No, it is. Oh, yeah. And, um, wait, is it? No, it's not. And I would trumpet out to the world, the splendid commonplace, nice day today. And another day I would cry out in despair. It will rain today for every old lady and every old gent and every old rogue and every young couple. Are they not guests in this hotel where the ceiling is the sky and the floor is the earth and the rooms are the houses? Notice how I didn't pause in 26 where the ceiling is the sky and the floor is the earth. No punctuation, man. Keep cruising. All right. Whoa. All right. Last one. But I, this wretched, tired thing, may I ask for a job as a head waiter in, of this hotel? question mark all right bro so that's it that's the poem wow incredible 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 let me make it smaller now so y'all don't have to just be staring at it all right cool we'll get it all up on the screen there more or less cool all right so here are the questions bang first questions read lines one through six of the poem well let me actually put this in right on top there great lean read lines one through six of the poem the head waiter says nice day today he smiles sentimentally the head waiter says it will rain today he frowns gracefully the parallel structures of lines one and three and four of six answer the question breath yeah and my thing only records in 360p because i'm pretty sure my computer is just a potato with a hard drive inside of it <laughs> Yeah. So, what's the answer, bros? Geek Fleek's got G. I can't write down the answers, but I'll say your names. Laurel's got A. Laurel, that's not an answer choice, but good job, I guess. Sports Show's also got G. Oops, E. Okay. Redouan. I don't know why I say Redouan's name like he's French. Redouan. <laughs> Redouan's got G. Sports Show's changed his answer. Too late, bro. Sports Show's got E, though. Henry's got E. Andrew's got E. Wiz is out of control. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Jane says G. Interesting. Yeah, this is so tough, dudes. But I, I'm, I'm you gonna learn today. You gonna learn. Zrizzy's got G. All right, Wiz. I don't know, man. Double check your answer, bro. You might be right, but that seems like a little off, bro. Okay, so let me go through this. The head waiter says, "Nice day today." He smiles sentimentally. The head waiter says, "It will rain today." He frowns gracefully now look at what the poem oh dang now look at what this poem is talking about the next thing it says is those are the greetings every morning i'm looking at the top of the screen those are the greetings every morning to every old lady and every old gent and every old rogue and every young couple to every guest he's always saying this thing now you could say it's two-faced but it's not like he's being fake i mean if it's a nice day, he's hyped. And if it's a rainy day, he frowns gracefully. You know what I'm saying? Where two-faced is like, I'll tell you you're cool to your face. And then as soon as you leave, I say you're not. So I don't think what he's doing is being two-faced. It sounds like he's just delivering the news to the people, to every old lady, to every gent. You know what I mean? So that's why I really like G, the head waiter's routine greeting. Because he says it to every old lady and every old gent. So one thing you all can take away from this is just because they say lines one through six, you have to keep in mind what the whole poem's talking about. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's keep cruising on this. Making my way downtown, walking fast, face is past, and okay, chill. All right, which line of the poem best supports what the speaker thinks of himself? And I, who do not sleep, I would cry out in despair, this wretched, tired thing. May I ask for a job? Let's go.
Yeah, and don't forget to to drop a like and uh, sub if you haven't subscribed yet. We're going to be grinding all summer, all fall, guys, all fall. Let's get it. All right, so Andrew's got B. Zrizzy's got C. Yeah, I can show you all the poem. Jane's got C. Geek Fleek, Sports Show. Study till I pass out. Venna's got B. I would cry out in despair. Red Wand's got C. Oh, yeah, I already knew that. All right, so let's go over this more or less. Because I think y'all ready. So which line from the poem, Andrew's got B, which line from the poem best supports what the speaker thinks of himself? So A, seems like he's talking about himself. So that could be there. B, I would cry out in despair. Um, That seems like an action he would do, right? Like just being like, I would cry out. Like, that doesn't necessarily mean that I think I'm cool or not. It's just saying something I would do. So B is not so great. This wretched, tired thing. Yeah, I mean, we can look at the poem when he says that. He's not in a great spot, dude. And he says, but I, I, I'm looking at the very bottom here, dudes. But I, I, this wretched, tired thing. May I ask for a job as head waiter? So that seems like he's definitely describing himself in that one, dudes. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Zizzy's, Zizzy's got a, a pretty good explanation in there, too. Yeah, exactly, Zach. Yeah, that's what's up. Dude, nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just an action of his. So, guys, keep in mind, you got to stay super tight on what the question is asking you. You can't just, like, like, you can't just use your instincts and go, oh, yeah. Like, they're trying to trick you. I'm trying to trick you because I actually made this test. Because you only get the fresh of the fresh SHSAT materials from me. None of this, I still, I actually, yes, the past couple of days I have stolen from Pearson pretty, <laughs> pretty heavily. <laughs> but for the most part on these streams, only the freshest of the fresh uh, individually made poetry passages. Okay, so let's keep cruising to the next question. All right. All right. Okay, I'm going to pull up this the, the poem again. So hopefully you guys are all doing good. Hopefully nobody is smashing their head on their desk yet. Uh, <laughs> I mean, eventually that might happen, but hopefully now you guys are not doing that bad. Um, let me let me see if I can get the first stanza in there. I don't know if you can even read this, dudes. It's so small, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I'm going to make it nice for y'all. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to drop it over here like this. Doing some high-level hacking here, bros. So hold up. NSA has got nothing on me. All right. So there's the first stanza, more or less. I know it's kind of trash, but um, yeah. Oops. That is not what I want at all. There's the question. Here's the question. Okay, cool. So now we're good to go. All right, dudes, so I want to know the details in the first stanza contribute to the development of the theme of the poem by... <laughs> Jane's got G already. Man, you are firing away on this poetry, Jane. Good, good stuff. I don't know if that's right, though. I got to look at this. Okay, Red Wand's got G2. Oh, no, G4. So Red Wand's got F, which is introducing the head waiter who later applies for a job. Uh, Tammy agrees with G. Geek Fleek's got E by describing the thing the speaker so desires. Dude, why is YouTube not wanting you to study? Elise has E. 
and guys when you guys throw your answer up like also give me like a little blurb on like why you chose what you chose sports shows got g henry's got e nice f for whiz okay i got you Zrizzy's got E. So y'all, why'd y'all put the answer you guys did? Like, why, how'd you choose it? Ugh. Can't wait for my nap. Ugh. It's gonna be so good. Slice of pizza I'm going to eat? Oh no, I already ate that slice of pizza. That's my life. Andrew's thinking it's E. My question is why? Why are you guys picking? Why are you guys picking what you're picking, basically? Like, what's your motivation? Benna's got E. It's not F and not A. F. H from Tammy. Okay. Because it shoes what he wants to do. Because it sounds cool. Laurel, that's not a good reason to pick an answer choice. <laughs> yeah, Tammy, you're right. You're right. It's one of those two. Yeah, stanza one does describe the head waiter. Yeah. Skills has got G. Okay. So, all right. Now I'm going to break this down. <laughs> no, I got you. I got you, Sports Show. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to break this down because I think this is a very hard question. And I think you guys deserve for it to be broken down for you. All right. So check out what's going on here. I wish you guys could see my mouse, but you really can't. I can highlight stuff though. Okay, so the head waiter says, nice day today. He smiles sentimentally. Head waiter says, we've, we've been over this. And he says that stuff to every old lady, old gent, old rogue, every young couple, every guest. And then our narrator kind of goes on and he says, and I, who do not sleep, who wait and watch for the dawn, one day I'd come down to the world and I would have a trumpet as powerful in the wind. And basically he would say, nice day today to every day, to everybody. And it will rain today for every old lady and every gent and every rogue. Because, you know, are they not guessing the hotel where the ceiling is the sky and the floor is the earth and the rooms are the houses? So basically he's being like really grand here. And he's like, yo, I, you know, I live in like a, like high up in this apartment and I don't ever sleep and I just wait for the morning, but I'd come down from that. And I would like yell out to everybody in the world these greetings. Like, aren't I so awesome? But then he kind of switches it up. And he's like, but I, you know, his confidence kind of leaves him. And he's like, but I, this wretched poor thing or whatever, may I ask for a job as the head waiter of this hotel? So if he's asking for a job of the head waiter of a hotel, then what is, who is this head waiter? because it's not our narrator because he doesn't have the job. So there's obviously another head waiter that's currently working the job. Know what I'm saying? So looking at our questions, G contrasting the head waiter of the hotel with the head waiter of the world, that head waiter of the world thing was basically him just hyping his abilities. He's basically like, I am so into this job, I will scream to everybody these greetings. <laughs> which is weird but he seems like a weird dude so yeah that's why g is a little suspect whereas e describing the thing the speaker so des desires yeah i mean the speaker wants to be a head waiter he wants to be that dude so when he's describing this routine he's probably describing it with like a pretty like legit like happy tone like this is something i want know what i mean so yeah 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 see what y'all are saying about it usually actually g is too but as i see it it isn't in lines one through 12 but yeah it's not and the head waiter of the world quote unquote is really just like a symbolic thing he can't really scream to everybody in the world you know what i mean yeah yeah red one's actually got a really good breakdown of that yeah dude so he would try to be a better waiter yep 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 you guys got some good stuff there okay all right so let's do another question Poetry is so much fun, isn't it, bros? <laughs> I'm dying. I bet you guys are dying, too. This stuff is boring. Okay. How does repeating the word every in lines 8 through 12 affect the meaning of the poem? When is he like that, though? 
Okay, here we go. Um, eight through 12. So to every old lady and every old gent and every old rogue and every young couple to every guest. So how does repeating that word every affect the tone? Dude, compasses don't need batteries, Jane. They just need magnets, yo. Yeah, and what he's talking about the earth as a hotel, he's basically just like talking... <laughs> You're in pain? <laughs> Dude, I'm in pain too. This is painful. All right, Geek Fleek's got C on this one. Red Wan's got C. Leung's got C. Laurel's got C. Henry's got C. Okay, we're noticing a trend here. Sports Show, what's up? Tammy's got it too. Okay. Easy. Yeah. This is, yep. Well, I mean, next to these hard questions, these easy questions don't seem like much, yeah? Elise, you got C. Andrew, he's got C too. Yeah, dude, poetry is so boring. I'm, I'm tutoring this and I'm bored. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Zrizzy's got C. I see you. All right, yeah. Do we even need to go over this? Everybody's on, you know, crushing this. Yeah, leave a like if you absolutely crush this question. Um, and if you hate poetry, definitely subscribe. <laughs> but if you crush this question, just obliterate your mouse smashing the like button. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to go over this one, but you guys all crushed it. He says every because it's like, I don't care if you're an old lady. I don't care any old lady, literally any old lady that comes through. I'm going to say it's raining today and I'm going to smile gracefully or whatever, whatever. Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, you guys absolutely crushed it. Yep. I think it's showing he's a weak waiter who is bored. So the um, best maps to see. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Now, like Jane, that's that's an interesting kind of breakdown of it. I don't know if we can 100% say he's bored. But if he is bored, that does make sense. You know what I'm saying? But there's just not any like indication in the passage that he's like leaning on the counter or you know he's droopy or whatever but you, you guys all crush this question so let's just keep cruising how does the point poet's point of view develop between the second stanza which is 13 to 28 and the third stanza which is 29 to 32 so let me see if i can get both of these stanzas popping really quick oh thanks for the sub ghostly um there we go there we go. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, nope. Okay. Whatever. So here it is again. Here is the uh, stanza again. If you need to look, he's basically like, I do not sleep. I'll come down. I get and blast my trumpet. Everybody's going to hear it. The whole, you know, are they not guests in this hotel? The ceilings, the sky, the floors, the earth, the rooms or houses. And then the last stanza is where he's like, but I, I, this wretched tire thing may ask for a job as the head waiter in this hotel. So 46 bros. What'd you guys think? Uh, Laurel's got F Jane's got E. <laughs> Dude, I hit 800. Are you serious? Dude, for real? Oh, no way. Are you guys are you guys like trolling me? Hold on. I'm very easily trolled, so <laughs> No way. Dude, that's so legit if that's true. Thanks, Tammy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. Dude, I I'm going to be Dude, I'm going to BT series. It's finally going to happen, bros. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Dude, thanks for the subs, guys. Super appreciate that. I've been grinding like, ah, and you guys have been grinding too. So everybody who's been coming along the way for this, it's been awesome, man. Uh, super, super awesome. All right, let's, I'm gonna check my channel dash dashboard here. 800, oh, nice. Thanks for the, Thanks subs, for the subs, everybody. everybody. Dude, dude, that's so, that's so awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. 
You guys are you guys are awesome, man. awesome, man. Thank you guys. Thank so you guys much so much for, for just coming along, coming along for the ride. ride. This has been so so legit. legit. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, can't believe, can't believe it, it, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm dude, dude, two hundred away from a thousand now. now. Wow, wow. Dude, I, dude, I, dude, I, I hope I can hope hit a thousand thousand before, before the, the actual test, test comes, comes in October. October. Dude, that's dude, that's all right. See skills. Right, see skills. Yeah, I got yeah, just shout out to skills, skills, speed run, speed run. That was legit. Dude, yeah. Dude, thank you everybody for the subs throughout this thing, man. It's been awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay, okay, dude, 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 legit. legit. So yeah, so, yeah leave a like, like if you if, if you like. You like. <laughs> okay, we do have to get back to this question though. Eventually, we have to get back to the question. Shaw, that's a very aesthetic static. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> Is it seriously eight hundred, eight hundred subs? Oh, uh, dude, the static is early. Uh, I think it's the static is celebrating my 800 subs. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dude, that static, though. Yo, that static. Dude, good job. Yeah, dude, Andrew, totally. It's like the static came to celebrate the subs. Mm. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's get back to the questions at hand, bro. Sports show's got E. Zrizzy's got G up in this. Who else has got an answer? Crunchy's got F. Wiz has got F. Wiz is jumping browsers, trying not to get banned by YouTube for giving too many answers. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Geek Tutor. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. Thank you guys for for helping me get to 800 subs. It's been fun. Sports shows got E. Dude, if I, how about this? If I get a thousand subs, I'll do an entire stream of just static. How about that? So 1K subs. We're gonna do an hour long. We're gonna do a two hour long super stream of just static. <laughs> Uh, the static i am the static the static is me you can't run from what you are guys you gotta you gotta be yourselves <laughs> leong has got e red has got e <laughs> dude i'm shod's got e <laughs> oh man Okay, so let me go over this one. Oh yeah, I had my reaction when it was all static. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's probably appropriate since it's you know my my streams are generally kind of <laughs> technically trash. So, what better way to celebrate 800 subs than having a full minute of static? <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, actually, most of you guys already know what I look like. All right, so let's go down and, and do this. Uh, 46, how did the poet's point of view developing the second stanza, the third stanza? So the second stanza, he's hyping himself. Like, second stanza is like him being like, I'm going to do such a good job that I'm just literally, I'm, I'm going to be so good at my job that I'm going to go into the streets and scream at everybody that today is a good day. I'm like going to do such a good job when I do it. He's like, I would have a trumpet and I would trump it out. He's like saying, I would cry. You know what I mean? And then look at the last stanza. He like loses all of his like swagger. He's like, but I, I, he's like stuttering. I, I, this wretched tired thing. May I ask for a job? Dude. So he goes from really, really confident to very, very not confident, 
So let's look at the answer choices, starting with H. The second stanza is what he says out loud. The third is what he thinks in his head. No, that's probably opposite if true. G, he puts down the job's difficulty to convince the owner later that he is worthy. I don't think he puts down the job difficulty. I, I think he's, if anything, saying that it's a bigger job than people expect because he's got to be screaming, you know what I'm saying? F is he transitions from talking about his hero, the head waiter, to feeling unworthy. That's a trick one because that would be the first stanza and the third stanza. The second stanza, he's just hyping his own performance. So that leaves us with E. He goes from overly praising the work to meekly asking for the job. Yeah, that's that's pretty much right, dude. Because the sec this second stanza, he's like, I would scream at everybody. Everybody in the world is my guest. And that's kind of a little extra, you know what I mean? And so then the last paragraph he does, he is kind of like meek and like, you know what I mean? All right, so let's keep cruising. There's a couple more questions and I wanna finish these questions before I cut out of the stream. Okay, here we go. Read lines 21 through 28 from the poem. And I'll read them to you, bros. For every old lady and every old gent and every old rogue and every young couple, are they not guests in this hotel where the ceiling is the sky and the floor is the earth and the rooms are the houses? This demonstrates the speaker's point of view that if made head waiter, Zrizzy's got E, which is not an answer choice. Good job, Zrizzy. <laughs> Sports show's got E, which is also not, <laughs> which is also not an answer choice. <laughs> dude the iq in my chat is staggering <laughs> or i think it might just be the delay and that i'm getting the comments late but either way that's hilarious okay laurel's got a geeks got a wiz got a okay elise coming in with the same answer Jane, yeah. Red one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys are getting it. You guys are getting it. So, dudes, notice, once you understand the poem, you can crush up on the questions. So it's super, super important that y'all understand what the poem's trying to say. Tammy's got an A2. Because if you understand what the poem's saying, these questions aren't crazy, right? Oh, sorry, Zrizzy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sports show's got A, Leung's got A. Yeah, Shad's got A. This is absolutely crushed. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm not gonna go over it. You guys are too smart. All right, four, and I don't wanna waste your time. Venna, I see you. Got A there too. Okay, uh, 48. How does the head waiter in the first stanza think about his job? Let me scroll up to this guy. This is, I think, a interesting question. I'm interested to see if you guys get it or not. Come on. Oh, man. I need, like, two screens for sure. Okay, that's good. So what does the head waiter in the first stanza think about his job? Yeah, dude, they pick really confusing poems. That's for sure, Shot. Wiz has got G, Laurel's got F. Ooh, Laurel retracted. I saw that. <laughs> Indeputably, is that a word, Geek? Oh wait, okay, so Redwan's got F. Wiz is confident on F now. Sports show's got F. No ye. No ye F. Geek's got F. Uh oh. Henry Henry's got H. Okay. And Wiz is trying to fight the man again on YouTube. <laughs> Why did they boot you from the chat, dude? <laughs> and now they won't let you post comments or delete comments? That's funny. Uh, I'm going to go with H. Tammy's going to go with H. F. Red has got F. F. A word. Okay. 
Yes, Rizzy's got F. You guys are going to hate this. I can just tell. You guys are going to get so pissed. Okay. So let me read the question to you guys again. Ready? What does the head waiter in the first stanza think about his job? Elisa's has H. Benna's got F. What does the head waiter think about his job? Like, what's his opinion of it? Does he hate it? Does he love it? Is he bored? Is he like every day he's like showing up super hype, like ready to go? Like, what's his opinion? And we just have to make sure we can support it using the passage, right? Yeah, Tammy, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh. Red one's got E. All right, dudes. So my question to you is if you think it's E, if you think it's F, where in the poem does it say that the head waiter thinks that his job is essential? Or where in the poem does the head waiter think his job is repetitive? Now, our judgment of the situation could be that it is essential or that it is repetitive. But what does the dude think about it? What does the head waiter think about it? Is there any indication in the poem that says that he's bored out of his mind or that it's essential or that he's repetitive or does it really say what he's thinking about it? <laughs> right, right. So because it doesn't say what he thinks about it. We don't know. We can assume that it's boring and repetitive because we know people. Oh, by the way, when they say head waiter, they don't mean a dude with like dishes carrying you food. That's what they used to call doorman. So when they say the head waiter, they mean doorman. And that's why he's telling everybody the weather. He's like, yo, it's going to be cold or it's going to be rainy or it's going to be whatever. So yeah. It does not indicate what he thinks, dude. We can assume it, but we actually can't say for sure what he thinks about it. So yeah, the answer is H, dudes. H. Does that blow your mind or what? Yeah, it doesn't indicate how he feels. Because we just, we just don't know, bro. Like, he may hate his job. He may love his job. We have no idea, dude. He is being robotic, that's for sure. But some people are like that, dude. Like, some people just pound out work and leave. Maybe he loves that. Maybe he loves the repetition of it. Or maybe he doesn't think it's repetitive because he can change his answer when it's raining or whatever. Like, we could write stories in our head for forever. But since the poem doesn't indicate it, why would the doorman write a poem? I don't know. He's probably bored, dude. All right, so let's do this. Oh, we have a bunch of questions still. Oh, no, just two more. All right, so let's let's wrap this up, bros, because I got to get moving. I've had like five tutoring sessions today. I'm re my eyes are ready to fall out of my head. Um, let's see. Okay, the speaker uses of the word rogue refers to what, bros? What is he talking about when he's saying rogue? Like, what what does that even mean? <laughs> Sports show. This isn't. This is not a McDonald's, man. This is a SHSAT stream. If you're looking for hamburgers, <laughs> go to McDonald's. <laughs> uh, I could just picture you rolling up to a McDonald's and being like, hi, can I have a uh, permutation problem and some geometry questions? All right, so Laurel's got B, Jane's got B, Geek, B. Uh, okay. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> you forgot to write the uh between every sentence too, Sports Show. Uh, can I have a number one uh, and a number nine large? Uh, study till I pass out's got B. Venna's got B. Red Wands on it too. All right, you guys are you guys are actually stunting on this. Yeah, really nice. Shad's got B. Okay. Yeah, I mean I'm not gonna go over this one just because you all crushed it so so thoroughly. 
Leong's got B, Sport Show. I see you. Yeah, don't worry, Jane. Uh, Wiz. Uh... <laughs> Good job, everybody. And uh, Wiz, you got an A for effort, bro. But uh, <laughs> you're a little off. <laughs> okay, yeah. So everybody knows it's just someone who's undesirable. But he's like, it don't matter. I'll say hi to them too. I don't care. I don't care if you're smelly homeless, dude. I'll say, I'll say what up to you. Um, all right, cool. Last question. Oh, actually, no. Two more questions. Who is the speaker addressing this poem to? H. You mean C. What? E. Jersey's got C. It, that's not an answer choice, bro. Guys, it's not A B. It's E F G H, dudes. It's B? No, we're doing number 50. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Henry's got F, Leong's got H, Wiz has got F, Laurel's got F, Redwan's got E. Got to think too. What 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 proof do we have? Sports show's got F too. Geeks got F. Pump please. Yeah, I got the poem floating over here to the right side. Uh, you can kind of read it, I guess. Zrizzy's got H. Tammy, F. Geeks, F. So, dudes, look at the last line of this poem, though. Look like the last stanza. But I, I, this wretched, tired thing, may I ask for a job as head waiter of this hotel? So, really, you guys are between... F and H. Now, if he's asking for a job in the hotel, chances are he's talking to the owner of the hotel and not the head waiter whose job he wants. Like if I just rolled up to like a cop and I was like, I want to be, I want to take your job. Now nah, you got to go to the police station. Or like if you go up to like, like someone, you know, working at, you know, you know what I'm talking about? You got to ask, you got to ask the dude who own, who can give you the job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wiz is a good explanation there. He wants to be the head waiter. So he's not going to ask the current head waiter to replace him. Yeah. Got to be the trumpet. <laughs> it's got to be the trumpet. He's actually in his room, just saying all of this to his trumpet because he doesn't have any friends. Yeah. So it's the owner of the hotel for sure. Okay. Last question, dudes. Good job. Wait, that was the last question. Hey, dudes. Good job on the stream today. That was our Poetry is Boring stream. Hey, good job, man. Really good job. Okay. So, dude, thank you guys for helping me get to 800 subs, dudes. That was so exciting today. Thank you guys for doing that um, and for coming along the ride, dude. It's been fun live streaming with you, bros. Um, so yeah, 800 subs. Yeet. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Definitely drop a like, definitely subscribe if you aren't already, already. Um, really appreciate all of that stuff. And dude, check out the information on my site. I got so much legit stuff on this website. It's not even funny, dudes. So yeah, man. Oh, also my email like i want to if you guys are coming to these streams and you guys are like grinding then consider me your like consider me your buddy to help you with anything that has to do with the shsat because if you're coming to these streams then i'm going to keep helping you guys out um so email me whatever even if you just need life advice i'm super good at life advice you know what i mean so yeah, we did take like 30 minutes on the poem. <laughs> I know, but I wanted to talk through it, you know? Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, dudes, thanks so much for subbing and all of this stuff. And yeah, not very time efficient today, but tomorrow we're going to definitely post up and be doing some more stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for subbing and subscribing, keeping on the lookout for these live streams every 
weekday, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. We're gonna be grinding, okay? So yeah, yeah. So really appreciate you guys so much, dudes. And I'm gonna leave the stream open for a little bit, but um, oh yeah, look at my pen, dude. You guys see that? It says thanks, thanks guys. <laughs>